Hi, this video is about sex link traits. So to begin, I want to pose a question to you. There are some genetic disorders that are more frequent in males than in females. Based on what you know about chromosomes and the difference between male and female karyotypes, propose a hypothesis explaining why males are more likely to be afflicted by certain genetic disorders. So I want you to think about that for a moment. Um, and come up with a hypothesis of two. Um, and by the end of this video, I think you're gonna have a great understanding of why that's the case. So let's begin. Recall that in a male, they are XY, and that a female is XX. Recall that the X chromosome is substantially larger than the Y chromosome. Also recall that the X and Y are not homologous pairs. They don't contain the same genes. So you might have genes um, on the X chromosome that are absent on the Y and vice versa. So let's say eye color, for example, is on the uh, sex chromosomes. It's not, but let's pretend. This is a, just a straightforward example. So let's say a female is heterozygous. So she has big B on one of the X chromosomes, little b on the other X chromosome. A brown is dominant over blue, you know, we're talking about a brown eyed person. So now let's say this, we have the male that on his X chromosome, he has the little b. And there's no gene for eye color on the Y chromosome. So this person is gonna have blue eyes. This male is gonna have blue eyes. Now, recall that we, when we talk about dominant recessive, that the dominant allele is going to mask or hide the recessive allele. And in most cases, that you need two copies of the recessive allele to display the trait. Because if you just have one copy of the dominant trait uh, or the dominant allele, is going to be hidden, the, it's going to hide the recessive allele. But what's interesting with the male in this case is that he only has one copy of the recessive allele, the blue eye uh, allele, but he's going to have blue eyes. And why is that the case? Because, well, there's no other allele to dominate or to hide that allele. So what we end up seeing in, in sex-linked traits, and sex-linked means that the trait is actually on one of the sex chromosomes, and in most cases, uh, we're talking about the X chromosome. Um, so we could also say X-linked. Um, so in the case where we have a recessive X-linked disease, then males are gonna be affected um, with great, great frequency or greater frequency than females. Um, so if a guy has a recessive allele on the X chromosome, he's going to display that trait because there's no other allele to, to hide it. Now, there are some examples of these X-linked recessive conditions. One of them is hemophilia. Another is red-green color blindness. There's also something called night blindness. And um, male pattern baldness is also one of these X-linked recessive conditions. So hemophilia is a disease of blood clotting. Um, so it's harder for these people to uh, form blood clots, which means that if they get injured, there's serious concern that they might bleed. They may continue to bleed. Red-green color blindness, uh, the, these are people who confuse red and green colors. Uh, so red and green appear the same. Night blindness is just how it sounds. Uh, in low lit conditions, it's hard or impossible for these people to see. And then, you know, baldness, we all know what that is. Uh, so these are X-linked recessive alleles.